so uh, we are uh, moving to the next step making the data available uh, till now we are having the data hard coded the employee list hard coded in my component now let me take the data from the node server using axios we will try to get it if you take a react uh, it is uh, as i told you it is just a library it does not have its own uh, like angular it is not a framework it does not have its own uh, http server http service to get the data we have to rely on some third party uh, libraries to get data from the external servers okay right now i am making use of axios there are also other uh, third party available right now we will proceed with axios to get the data this uh, employee data from the server okay so the first step will be to install axios okay so let me try that so i want to install axios inside my system okay just do install and uh, let's wait for it to uh, install i'm uh, getting some permission issue let me try it from the command prompt go into this folder okay maybe run it as administrator and let me go inside this react Okay, and I will try to install like this access. Let's wait for it to get installed. So now it has completed. Uh, Installing the Axios to my uh, application so that you can very well verify if you go inside the Axios should be added as part of this packet.json. You can verify that, you can verify it is being added, and also you should be able to find it in if you go inside this and check. If you go inside this, you should be seeing the Axios somewhere, okay. So here you can find that. So let me. Uh, so Axios is now uh, installed my machine. So now I have to get using Axios. I have to get the employee list rather than uh, having it as this hard coded in my component. Okay. Let me remove this hard coding, and uh, I will make this initial state to be empty. And from where uh, I will get my uh, employee list. I will. I already have a uh, dummy uh, node server, so that is present as part of my uh, GitHub. You can go to this GitHub. My you can go. To, I will also add it in my uh, description. You just go to repositories, and you just click on this and clone this. You will should be getting a dummy node server you clone that and uh, right now i will go inside that uh, clone path and start the server which will be the server which gives my employee list okay it is i have cloned it inside node node server okay now to uh, it uh, it is a simple server which can actually go inside the server if you want so it is a simple server which uh, so uh, which has many get methods delete methods and add methods if you want to add employees or delete employee you can make use of this node server as the backend okay so uh, to start the server just do node server.js okay so it means it has been already started and it is running for me so it has been already started okay so it is running in localhost 8081 and uh, to get uh, the employees you just do 
get employees when you do this you will be able to get the employees so i have to make use of this url and using axios i will get the data from it okay so let me go to my system and the component did mount is one of the lifecycle hoots which gets called at uh, when the component is mounted this lifecycle hook is called by react okay you just have to first do uh, axios axios negiv it will automatically uh, add the import and you put axios dot get we are uh, want to do a get and you add the url okay local host 8081 get employees and it uh, axios actually gives you a promise so to get the data what you have to do we have to do then okay then you get the data here the response you try to print the response how it comes okay i'll just print it out for you first before using it in my application just print the response and see what is the response it is returning this is the this one and this should be this one that's it so let's see whether uh, the axios is able to go to the server and get the response for us as you know the promise the first callback will always be the response just i have not handled the error for the promise yet okay just then you have to also start the server then server is also not started let me go to that go to my react and start the server let us wait for it to start now it is started it is not able to display anything because we have a empty employees right that's why we have not uh, seen anything but you are able to see the response here right so this is the response which is which is being sent from the server but uh, you can see the list of employees is present in data so response dot data will be able to give you this data so let me change it to response dot data when you do response to data you will should be able to get the data right you are able to see the data so this has to be set to employees right for setting this the employees you have to as i told you earlier for setting state you should not never do like this if you do like this right it means the react will not know the state has changed for changing the state you have to always use set state only when you use this method and change the state the react will call the render method again okay so let me uh, put this to be response dot data so once i receive the data from the node server what i am doing i am setting the state i am changing the state now once the uh, state gets changed the employee state gets changed the um, react will be calling this method again so it will uh, actually iterate through the employees and will be showing the list of employees for us as we saw it in the case when we had the employees hard coded in our application so let's see now now you can see now we are able to see the list of employees so the whatever is being sent from the node server we are able to see it in our uh, view page in our browser okay now let's move on to the next step